If you're a company and a customer calls in and you have no idea who they are, that's not very good service. And if you're a customer and you phone into a company and they have to ask you a whole bunch of questions just to determine who you are, that's not very good customer service. I'm sure all of us have been in a situation where we've called into an organization, a business, a school, and we've had to explain everything every time we phone in. All of our order history, any service requests that we have, it feels like we're spending so much time explaining a situation that we can't actually go and, and resolve or service a situation. Maybe I, maybe I have the same order. Every month I place the same order and the person at the other end, I have to explain it to them again and again and again every month. This isn't very good. It's really not good customer service and we want to try to avoid that. Well, one of the ways that we can avoid that type of poor service is by having something called a CRM, a Customer Relationship Management System. And that CRM is going to allow us to understand the customer when we identify them. It's going to allow us to understand their order history, service request history. It'll also allow us to put them into a sales funnel where maybe we can suggest the next best product for them. Maybe we can find opportunities to help them in ways that will really amaze them and make them feel much better about doing business with our company. So a CRM is a really good thing and there are a lot of companies that offer CRM. But the typical way that a CRM works is that someone will place a phone call into the company. An agent will pick up the phone and then the agent will have to ask a number of questions so that they can go into the CRM, retrieve the information about that customer and then start serving the customer. And that takes some time. And it also makes the customer feel like they have to identify themselves every time. They don't feel as included as maybe they should. But there's a better way. We could have the customer phone in and then we could use a tool like 3CX, which is sponsoring this video, that will automatically integrate with the CRM. So now because we've got the phone number, we've automatically pulled up the record associated with that phone number and the agent already has the entire customer history, the customer needs right in front of them and they already know who they're talking to. They might spend a little bit of time just confirming that the phone number and the person at the other end is the right person just to make 100% sure. But imagine that you are in that situation, both as the agent needing to serve the customer as well as the customer needing service. Everybody is going to feel a lot better about that. And 3CX makes this very easy to do. We'll take our CRM, we'll integrate it with our phone system, and we'll be able to do amazing service to those customers because they'll be able to be identified, we'll understand the history, and we'll be able to serve them. Let's take a look at just how easy it is to integrate using 3CX into a CRM. And what's really interesting about this is you do not need to be a large business to do this. Let's say you're a restaurant and you have people that phone orders in order for takeout or delivery. And the phone number identifies that person, goes to your CRM, and you can see what they ordered last time. Now, instead of having to take a brand new order every time, you can actually just confirm that they want the same order that they had last time. This is great customer service. It saves them time. It saves you time. And it really makes you look like a professional organization that is there to serve the customer. It's very powerful. Let's go have a look. In order to use integrations, the version of 3CX you'll need will be the enterprise version, which is available on a two month free trial. You'll then have a portal, an administration portal, and you'll be able to go in, you'll be able to configure all the aspects of the phone system that you're using. You'll be able to have client software where you can then use that on your computer, receive phone calls to and from your computer. And then you'll go into your settings. Underneath settings is where you'll set up the integration to your CRM and it's quite easy. You'll go into your CRM, you'll go into the integration for your CRM and you'll choose whatever CRM software that you're using. So in my case, I might be using Microsoft Dynamics 365 or Salesforce is very popular. There a lot of the different CRMs that you're going to see in industry will be listed here. Let's say for example, I'm going to use Microsoft Dynamics CRM 365. You'll notice that that's the version I'm using. I can have this query so that every time a call comes in, it'll execute a query against the CRM and retrieve the record there. You can see here that I can go in 
and I can do things like set up the uh, account that I'm going to use to log into the CRM. So this information will come from your CRM software provider. You can do things like call journaling. There's a lot of different features in here, but the key is that it's quite easy to fill in that information test it and then that's all there is to it. You've now integrated your CRM, whichever one it might be, with your phone system, your 3CX phone system, and now you'll be in a position that when a customer calls, it will bring up their information and you'll be able to serve them much, much better. As always, if this video was useful, hit the like button. It really does help out the channel. And check out some of the other videos I have on 3CX and how you can use them as a PBX and how you can integrate it with Microsoft 365, plus some other ones as well. Check them out and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.